So artificial intelligence has already begun to revolutionize so many different industries, and the art industry and the film industry are no exceptions. In fact, AI has the potential to greatly impact the way films and art are made, from pre-production to post-production. Here we'll explore the way AI could play in the future of filmmaking for pre-production. AI can assist with the writing process by generating script ideas and even entire scripts. In fact, I've been reading off an AI script this entire time. So let's go back and do this for real. So AI has been a really hot topic in the filmmaking and art industry lately. And as cool as these innovations are, it's becoming a really controversial topic as well. And the biggest question on everyone's mind is if AI really is the future of art in filmmaking industries. Well, it's certainly not going away. The programs such as Stable Diffusion and Mid Journey made the process of creating art from scratch turn into just writing a couple words or a prompt into a text box. I have to say, I've always been a little skeptical of the idea of AI generated art, but after working with a fairly large project with lots of AI art incorporated into it, I actually was pretty inspired and I went down the rabbit hole myself. And then I actually found it pretty fun making silly portraits of my cats, creating cool fantasy concept art, seeing what other people were generating as well. I mean, none of it really came out that good. But still, it got my wheels turning at all the possibilities. Then diving through more YouTube rabbit holes, I found more ways to use this art in animation. There are also valuable time-saving programs that make the most tedious parts of visual effects like rotoscoping much more efficient. It's not perfect, but it definitely can get things 80 to 90% of the way there. And that's already saving you potentially hours of work. And other things like color correctors, script writers, closed captioning generators, and even After Effects expression writers. I'm gonna pick up the camera again. Just, I don't know why it feels weird with my hand being empty. Exploring this world of artificial intelligence honestly has left me really inspired and encouraged about all the possibilities to come. I've never been that great of an artist when it comes to you know drawing and painting and digital art. AI art generators can give someone like me a chance to generate pieces that would you know normally take me years of perfecting my skills to make. But as inspired as I was with all this, I also frankly found it to be a bit nauseating. When using Midjourney, not only does it create your art, but it's also creating hundreds and thousands of other people's art at the same time, on the same page. And honestly, I found this to be a bit overwhelming. I actually got a real migraine from it. The absurd amount of art that's being generated right in front of your eyes each second just really kind of put it in perspective and freaked me out. Just knowing as I'm sitting there, thousands, if not millions, of these things are constantly being generated all over the world and there's really nothing or no one to stop it. Also the fact that millions of artists had their art used without permission to train this AI is something that will really never sit well with me. It's almost like living in a country that was colonized on stolen land. Hmm. The issue I'm seeing here now is that AI makes it so easy to create art. It's opened the floodgates for many non-creative, non-artist people to be in this industry. People that don't care if the art is stolen. People who don't care about the creative process or the passion real artists have behind their art. These are people who just want a picture of a dinosaur with a top hat and a monocle and don't want to pay anyone to do it. So they'll just type that in and say it's good enough and call it a day. There's power in numbers and ethical or non-ethical, I don't think this train is going to stop. Where the train goes and what rules to follow on the train is something that can be influenced today. And especially by the real artist community. AI art is basically like the wild west right now. And enough informed people together can potentially make a difference and demand more ethical machine learning practices. Laws and regulations can be put in place to protect artists and honestly, people's privacy and integrity too. If this is something that really is deeply troubling you, please be active and join groups that are helping to make this right so we can peacefully coexist in a world with AI art. Because like I said, it's not going anywhere. It's definitely here to stay. So how do we coexist peacefully with AI? Honestly, it can be a bit unnerving. I never pictured this being a thing I would have to deal with when I first got into filmmaking. But also I never pictured such innovative tools being introduced to the industry. It's easy to think that your job might be in jeopardy, but I think the best way to deal with this going forward is 
to look at AI as not an alternative to art and filmmaking, but as a tool for it. In reality, when you create AI art, you are not the artist in this situation. You are the client. The machine itself, or the millions of artists it learned off of illegally, is the artist. And it's doing its best to achieve your vision. Never ever in any type of larger piece of work, or video, or anything, should an AI generated image be the final product. This piece the machine created is a stepping stone to something greater. It can be a jumping point to spark some inspiration for you to create something from scratch or to use the elements from this drawing to piece together the scene you want to create. This is really good for visual effects techniques such as matte painting. You can augment the image to create some visually interesting animations, which is what I did in the previous project that I worked on and much more. In the end, these are you, the artist, making these creative decisions, not the machine. It can be a time saver in many ways and can help you achieve looks that may not have been achievable before. And again, it's you achieving it instead of the machine. For filmmaking, no machine is going to make decisions you're going to make to tell the story correctly. Scripts can be easily generated, but as you could see from the beginning of this video, the results are pretty generic and not original. They need your creative input to make them special and to make them yours. The best AI tools are the ones such as Runway ML, that takes care of time-consuming tasks and allow you not to be bogged down by tedious work. I mean, I've probably spent months out of my life rotoscoping for work and for CK Productions videos. Since it's not going away, it's the best to have one finger on the pulse of what AI can do for artists and where it's going. And it's good to find creative ways to make your art better, not to take it over, but to elevate it to new heights. And don't let the non-creatives get to you. They will latch onto this and say it's the future. They will say, being an artist is pointless. But they don't know. They'll just forever have machines make mediocre art for them. They'll never know the true joy that comes from the creative artistic process. And that's something that no machine could ever take away.